It can be used by two-year-olds. I know, I have to keep my granddaughters off it. It can be used by someone as old as me without any problem. Truly inclusive and a brilliant piece of design. The best examples of inclusive design don't shout inclusive. They just happen to embrace a really wide range of users. Inclusive design is not just old people or elderly people or people with whatever impairment. It's making stuff that just works better for everyone. Inclusivity in such a way that you don't have to think, oh, they've done this especially for me in this category, which is an uncomfortable feeling. Designers really have to empathise with people, understand their needs, their wants, their beliefs. The most famous example of this for me is the Ford Focus. What they did was dress the young designers up in these third age suits. Gloves that restrict movement, glasses that mimic the yellowing of the cornea. Then the designers had to try and use their own designs, and if it didn't work, they had to improve them. That car was not sold as an old people car or as an inclusively designed car, but it actually sold very well amongst elderly people. It's not until you go and really spend time in those places and get to know those people that you're actually able to understand what is meaningful to them. Whether that's people in wheelchairs, young people, old people, business people, you have to talk to the whole group of people to understand what the product is. It's about the widest number of consumers and which business doesn't want that. If you get it right, it will sell because you actually increase the market, increase the people that you're talking to. I'd hate to live in a world where there was no consideration for inclusive design. To me, it's the only way you shoot design. If you want to make a difference with design, then you should become an inclusive designer.